So what's so cool about manufacturing? Well, everything. Do you wonder where your local 3D advertisements are manufactured? Or where cereal boxes are made? We went to Anstat Communications to answer those questions and more. Hi, we're here at the Anstat company to see how printing really works. Let's go inside. So Jen, how is initial contact made with potential buyers? So there are a lot of different ways that clients can come into contact with us. We have a really good marketing team. We do a lot of social media, and so people become aware of us that way. They contact customers, um, prospects, things like that. After the concept is pitched to a salesman, the idea then goes to a graphic designer. So after you get an idea, how do you go about starting the process? There's a couple of different steps that we start with. Sometimes we have clients that give us very detailed information and we can use that to start building off of. Once the design is finalized, it's ready to go into production. So Eric, how do you take something from a design and turn it into a final product? The file is sent over from the design department. It's brought into our RIP system. The RIP system applies it, turns it into an image that is created and put into a laser. The lasers then write that design onto my printing plate and it is then imprinted. After the printing is completed, the embellishments are added. After the print has been delivered to you, how do you enhance the image? The first thing you've got to do is put the foil on and then we have many different colors that we can put on with and then we have poly, which is the last thing we can put on. The final step to turning a design into reality is folding and cutting. The products are then distributed to our local businesses and used as advertisements. So that's what's so cool about manufacturing.